Miss Red Gala Fabulously Red.com here doing a day in the life kind of video. Today I am going out to do a pop up show in Oxon Hill, Maryland. So I wanted to show you how I got ready. I started priming my eye with um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. And here I'm just using a natural base, which is Groundwork by MAC. It's a paint pot. And I'm using just like a craft store paintbrush just to blend it all out. Um, the white shadowy substance that you see on my top forehead is just Milk of Magnesia. Using here Sugar Pearls Red Love A eyeshadow. Um, sorry for the quick gestures, but I am running late, but I still wanted to record this video. So just patting, I'm um, getting saturating my brush in some of the red shadow and I'm going to pat it all over my lid, um, being sure to cover all of my lid, um, being sure to cover all of the groundwork uh, paint pot. This is a typical Saturday for me. I am always rushing. I got up and packed all my accessories and then I rush to get dressed and then I leave my makeup for last as always. Um, my hair uh, is up in flexi rods <laughs> with my scarf. So just here with me getting dressed and I'm doing the red all over my lid. Um, my theme colors are red, white, and black. Uh, they match my theme for my boutique. So my makeup usually kind of coordinates with uh, my theme colors. Sorry for the unfocus, um, but I'm just using a, well I'm using Buck from the Naked Urban Decay Shadow Palette. And I'm using my tapered blending brush from MAC. I'll list all the brushes below. Um, here, just blending out the harsh lines of the red eyeshadow. Going into my outer V, um, into my crease, just blending out the harsh lines of the red eyeshadow. And again, the white powdery substance is Milk of Magnesia. If you haven't used that before, it's a great primer that I like to lay down. Um, and then over it, I would put my um, face visage, which is the MAC. Um, prep and prime face primer but I have very oily skin and when I know I'm going to be out um, for the whole entire day I usually like to uh, prep my skin as much as possible to combat the shine um, I'm grabbing carbon which is a matte black eyeshadow from MAC Using my tapered blending brush, going to grab some of a black matte eyeshadow, which is um, Carbon from MAC that I'm using here, just to put it in my outer V. Um, I typically go back over my colors after I've kind of set like an outline. So here you just see me placing color pretty much um, with the fluffy brush, um, just to kind of make an outline of where I'm going to typically blend more um, using another blending brush. Nothing is on there. It's clean. I'm just going to use that to more so blend the colors for me. Um, white hair brushes typically add color yeah, and blending and the black hair brushes usually take away color um, and do more of blending. I kind of like to flip flop between the two whenever I'm doing um, eyeshadow looks and I'm doing a lot of blending. Next I'm going to take Texture by MAC which is another nude color and I'm going to soften the buck and the carbon and I'm going to raise this color up close towards um, my brow bone. Just blending all the colors, um, blending some of the black, blending some of the buck just to kind of give it a great transition. Using Naked from the Naked palette, I'm going to use that on a 239 fluffy brush as my brow bone highlight. Um, and I like to go all the way under my eyebrow. Um, I have a lot of eye space, so I like to fill my eye space up with neutral colors. Going in with a little bit more of the matte black eyeshadow, which is Carbon from MAC. I'm going back over my colors like I said before. I like to go back over my colors after I've kind of made um, an outline for them. I'm just blending um, in my crease, making sure that they're kind of symmetrical because it's never perfect. Well, not for me, but just making sure that it's symmetrical as much as possible uh, with the blending of the black. 
Again, using a clean brush, fluffy brush, I use just to blend everything together. And again, please do not be scared by the white um, powdery residue. It's just Milk of Magnesia, and I use it, again, to combat oily skin. Here, I'm just applying some lash, um, lash glue adhesive to lay down my... Um, glitter that I'm going to put down and it's a mix of a few glitters that I have um, that I use uh, to get this color and I'm just going to put it all over my lid um, trying to make sure I fill in any spaces with it and I'm carrying it as close as I can to the carbon in my outer V carbon again is a matte black eyeshadow Okay, so here I'm just um, adhering a few lashes. The lashes don't have a name. Um, I get them from my local beauty supply store, and I believe they are 027s. Um, and again, they don't have a name. So I'm just adhering them here. I apply my lashes with a tweezer. Um, it allows me to do them quickly and to go ahead and make sure that they're adhere all the way through. As you see here, I'm touching bit by bit just to and wiggling it up onto my lash line. So pretty much here, done with my eye look. I went ahead and put on um, Zero Eyeliner from Urban Decay uh, on my lower lash line and blended it out with matte black eyeshadow which is again I use carbon from MAC my foundation is NC 42 in the center and NC 45 on the outside finished I finished the look with an OCC lip tar and stalker with MAC um, max clear lip glass on top um, and I used NYX's um, plush red lip liner Just me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. On to the show. So I'm here working and I'm at an event in Upton Hill, Maryland, where there are other vendors here. I'm just doing a pan of the room. We just opened the doors, kind of just finished setting up, so we're kind of just waiting for the public to come in. Um, so yeah, that's what I do on Saturdays. I do pop-up shops um, to get exposure from my boutique. Um, I get out to network with other people who are also small business owners and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what I do. And of course, I'm adorned in Rosy Moto. My earrings, my shirt, my arm jewelry. Oh, my headband. And then makeup done by yours truly, of course. Yeah. So, um, if you don't know about my boutique, I'll put all the information in the description box below. And if I'm ever promoting an event, or if you're keeping an event and you want something, um, if you want one of us to come and do a pop-up shop, inquire below. I'll put the email below. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is Red Gal from BabbitsandRed.com and I am at work but I figured I would do a little video just to show kind of like what I do on the weekends. Um, I did do a tutorial for my makeup look so you'll get to see how exactly I achieved the look and all. Um, I don't think I finished it with the lip part because I was running late. Um, but yeah, I'm working. So here's what I do on Saturdays. I come out to events and I have a pop-up show with my boutique. I'm gonna try to squeeze against this table. Making a mess. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit of my setup. Of course you can't put the whole boutique on the table, but you can try. So some of the stuff that I do, a lot of sets, stuff that match together, coordinate together. So one of my favorite pieces is rose gold with Swarovski crystals. Of course I have my business cards. Of course I have my fabulously red makeup card. 
And then I just have the sets and stuff that I sell. Red glitter, of course. <laughs> Red glitter. I made this my display. Uh, I have my velour display for my armbands and stuff. And then I have my wrist wear displays that I also made. And then I have the set in black, of course, that I'm wearing. And then I have my ring display. These are some rings that I actually custom made. Look at that. Have you ever seen a ring that looks that good? Oh. Cross rings. Look how big that is. Of course, you know, everything is big. Full finger rings. This is like one of my favorites right now. It's a ring. Ring. It hangs down. Earrings and more earrings, fed rings. Then I also keep my square sign. One of my favorite pieces. You've seen this in my vlog already. Then I just have some other stuff. Say hi, mommy. Hi. <laughs> my mom is helping. That's another set. Comes in black as well. Thank you for watching my latest video. I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial as well as kind of getting to see what it is that I do um, in my spare time, what are my passions. Um, my accessory boutique is Rosimoto and I take it on the road every weekend or every chance that I get and I have my lovely mother who helps me from time to time. Um, thanks for watching my video, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll be back soon. Mwah.